I'm, I'm right outside with your food. Okay, one moment. Okay, I'll be I'll be uh, standing out with your food, okay? All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bud. Everything is costly in this city. I'm just trying to survive, you know? I'm just trying to be good to my wife and before I create a life, I want to make sure my son doesn't have to go through the same type of struggle I'm going through, but still, I, I will never spoil my kid. No matter what you upbringings are, the environment that you grow up, it might be a tough living condition, you might be, you know, live through poverty, but you can turn that around by hard work and, and persistency and perseverance. And if you have self-discipline, self-discipline, that's definitely um, the key fact to to make progressions in life. That's like a ghetto, ghetto dream coming true, man. It's like ghetto dream. Honestly. Used to work at three jobs, straight out of Hunter's Point, been around the block. I always feel proud going to school, telling all my Chinese peers where I live, Connors Point, makes me like a hero. They never even dared to take the bus and get off on the same spot. When I arrived here, I had no idea. You know, I was just a young kid from China, immigrant. I wasn't even born here. It was more than a cultural shock. The minute I got off the band, it's, it's like 99% African Americans. A lot of uh, low riders, music, boombox, people on the side rolling, rolling dice, 40 ounce drinks, um, people just slapping like 50 Cent, Tupac, rapping Forte, all that Bay Area sound, you know. I didn't know, I didn't know none of that back then when I first got here. I, you were just, you all sound the same to me. My aunt, when she got here, she had to overcome a lot of uh, obstacles and then she worked three jobs when she first got here, you know. For someone who had nothing, came from China, you know, barely knows anything, she, she managed to purchase a home, but what she could afford was Hunter's Point at the time. I had no choice but to survive. It's not about material, it's all about survival. You know, get beat up, get bullied a lot, you know. And one example is my cousin and I, we just try to get some McDonald's smoothie, some milkshake, some fries, you know what I'm saying? Went up to McDonald's and it was just a, a like gang of 20 or probably less than 20, like 15 black kids sitting together. As soon as we walked in, it started, you know, yelling out the racial slurs. Ding dong, bing bong, ching chong. That's why I laid it all in my raps, and then I put that in my rap sheet. It's all about, man. It's shitty ideas, man. Gotta make a whole lot of money here one day. Exactly. Best in the West, best looking, dedicated, educated, and never faded. Glad we made it. Glad. Yeah. You gotta pay the price, make your sacrifice. Last but not least, you gotta learn to compromise. What she want fried rice better than French fries. What she want all of my better than catch talk. We are the 1.5 generation. Grow up in the US nation. Face a lot of problems, misconception. Always gonna be the best generation. We are the one. Let's hear that real quick. Let's see hear, hear, hear the sound real quick. You gotta learn to compromise. What she want fried rice better than French fries. What she want la la ma better than catch up. Okay. Yo. Let me try to do, do another recording. You can save that one. I'll do another uh, take on the on that part. I never forget how you work for your job. Always come on late, but still show me a lot of love. I wanna let you know no matter what we go, no matter what we do, no we never forget where we come from. It's busy all the time. Oh, yeah. got people coming to find him. Gotta go here like one week in advance now. <laughs> so it's gonna get longer and longer. <laughs> Anything, get it going. A lot of people think rapping is all about degrading women, you know, advocating violence and uh, promote materialism. But I want to be the one to bring the brighter side of rapping to China. I want to, I want to show them the brighter side, the positive side, the uplifting side, the inspirational side. So, 
So, and then I proved to my family, even though they didn't support me in the very beginning, I proved to them. Family, older generation, definitely, they don't like me rapping at all. Except my grandmother, she always protects. She said, you, you, you need to do what you love to do. You, you gotta follow your passion. So, and then I proved to my family, even though they didn't support me in the very beginning, I proved to them that I'm a good boy, I'm a good kid. Now I'm a good husband, now I'm a good man. I'm a good businessman too. The how far rap music has made me who I am. My recipe is the best thing in life. And every time I make the food with passion and grandma's recipe, they always remind me of her, reminisce the good times. Rest in peace, grandma. I'm gonna see you tomorrow at Golden Gate Bridge. So we're going to Golden Gate Bridge today. Today is the sixth year of our grandma's passing, you know, to whom went to heaven. Um, it is in our culture that we always, you know, try to commemorate on, on our loved ones who passed before us and who also came before us. Well, no, he came to America. He came to us when he was just 13. And uh, it was to say, you know, I was assigned to the role of supporting him after all because you know, I'm his elder and I am also his age group. Our parents too busy. So I ended up spending most of my time hanging out with him and teaching him English and just you know making sure that whatever I've learned here in America can be passed along to him. Yeah besides video games though. Well yeah video games it's different because uh, <laughs> I'm a gamer to heart. When we sailed out to the to the ocean and we 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 uh, spread her ashes into the Pacific Ocean, as her wish. So we granted our grandma's wish because my grandma was a very devoted Christian. Get the two dollars, give her two dollars to make you a howl. Come on, brother, you even got two dollars? Nah, man, you, you don't listen to old school music, that cash moves everything around me. Crazy dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, man. Come on, see, man. Let's go. So far, this is going well, but still, in order to make some money, you gotta minimize the cost, you know, of labor. I work 12 hours a day, you know. Always 12 hours a day. The only two or three hours I got is when I get back home around 10.30 and I would stay in my car for two hours. So only time I get to spend with my wife is like one hour per day. And I'm very thankful to her. Throughout our dating life or to our current marriage, she was always very sacrificial. But everything is worth it because she supports my musical passion. And music is a lifetime commitment.我跟他之间就好像像朋友一样的，或者各个方面都很非常信任对方。比如你出去玩，或者出去干什么，都就你都去吧。然后他也是非常信任我，也是就是你去干嘛就干嘛的，就是相处的很和平的，像朋友。他
my wife and my life. See, those two words rhymes. If you want to have a good life, you better make sure to have a good wife. 应该是有 good wife， 你才有 good life。Yeah, yeah, yeah, that's right。不要说反了。A happy wife means the happy life. How's that? Am I gonna be your good husband? I don't wanna be your man. I wanna be your husband. I wanna be your best friend. Take it to the end. Sometimes I wish you can understand. It takes a lot of time to be your man. It's all about understanding, loving. We ain't never gonna stop till the love connected. Baby girl, I wanna put a ring on it. I already put a ring on it. I'm gonna sing on it like a love song. Baby girl, and let's get it on. Let me see some reaction coming from your face. And baby girl, you're the best thing God ever made. 我我也认识有喜爱唱歌的，可能也有一些业余歌手的。他们有没有说见到我之后？就开始唱，就开始或者跳舞的就开始跳，但是杨小川真的可以做到，他只要见到我就开始 rap。我说大哥，我们先聊两句天，我还我还没有说话，他根本就忽视掉我了，直接就开始 rap。我我当时被震惊了，第一次、第二次我都有点不太适应，你知道吗？我说这哥们儿怎么这个样子？开始真的第一次有点吓到我，说实话。每一次见到他都是这个样子，不管是在他的餐馆，还是在那个教会，还是今天我们的查经学习，他任何时候，尤其是在我的车上，我们连起了挖，连起了那个 Bluetooth 的时候，时候，就整个这个路途当中一直都是 rap， 你知道吗？平常我们的交流也都是 rap， 我真我真的很痛恨自己不会 rap， 如果我要会 rap， 我可能直接就 rap 跟他交流，就是说回去。I came to the U.S. without a dime, but I pay haters no mind. I always leave the past behind. If you can't see the future, your mask will be blind. But I'm not a blind man. Even when I close my eyes, I can see what's in front of me. I know my future gonna be bright. Battle of the year. Jefferson's won it four times in a row, man. Teach him a lesson he'll never forget. You better not let me regret this. I think it's time he loose. How you gonna make that happen? <laughs> 